this session, we will talk about discriminants. In particular, we will determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation in the standard form. Let us first recall our knowledge with regards to the derivation of the quadratic formula. We know that from this quadratic formula, we know that it has two roots, the R1 and R2. We can also conclude that all quadratic equations have two solutions called the roots of quadratic equation. Now, from the quadratic formula, the radicon or the expression inside the radical symbol is what we call as discriminant. The discriminant will help us determine the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation which is our focus in this session. Now, let us proceed now to the conclusion that we can make if the discriminant D as an expression or a variable that represents discriminant, which is equal to B squared minus 4AC, the following are the summary. If the discriminant is greater than 0 and a perfect square, then our roots are rational and unequal. If the discriminant is greater than zero and not a perfect square, then the roots are irrational and unequal. If the discriminant is equal to zero, then the roots are rational and equal. If the discriminant is less than zero, then the roots are imaginary or complex. Now, let us apply this conclusion about the discriminant. Let us take some example. We are asked to determine the nature of the roots in the following. Number 1, p squared plus 12p plus 35 is equal to 0. Now, the very first thing that you're going to do here is to identify the values of our coefficients as represented by A, B, and C. Our A is 1 because 1 is our coefficient of our quadratic term P squared, that is imaginary 1. And our B is 12 because that is the coefficient of our linear term, which is 12B. And our C is our constant term, which is 35. Now, what will we do with these values or coefficients of our given quadratic equation? Of course, we will make use of our discriminant, which is equal to b squared minus 4ac, and replacing the values of a, b, and c by the coefficient that we have identified in the given quadratic equation. Now, doing so, if you notice, our b is 12, so that is 12 squared minus 4, multiply this by 1, and c is our constant, which is 35. And simplifying this further, of course, 12 squared is 144, and negative 4 times 1 times 35 is negative 140. And 144 minus 140 is, of course, 4. Now, since 4 is greater than 0 and it's a perfect square, now recalling our summary, it states that if D is greater than 0 and a perfect square, then the roots are rational and unequal. Therefore, the roots of these quadratic equations are rational and unequal. If you have some questions, you can always write your questions in the comment section. Second example, we are still asked to determine the nature of the roots of 4p squared minus 4p plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, of course, our first thing to do is we identify the values of our ABC, which is the coefficient of the given quadratic equation. We have A is 4, and we have B is negative 4, and our C, which is constant, is 6. Now, from our discriminant B squared minus 4AC and replacing the variables A, B, and C by our values, we have negative 4 squared. Now, be careful. 
the value of our b is negative 4 so you you have to include negative in squaring the value for b minus 4 and our a of course is 4 and our c is 6 simplifying this further of course that will give us negative 80 now negative 80 if you can still remember in our summary if d is less than zero then the roots are imaginary or com complex therefore the roots of these quadratic equations are imaginary or complex example number three Determine the nature of the roots of 9p squared plus 30p plus 25 is equal to 0. Of course, the values of our a is 9, the value of b is 30, and the value of c is 25, based on the given quadratic equation. Now, using our discriminant b squared minus 4ac and replacing a, b, and c, with the values that we've identified in our quadratic equation and simplifying them we have discriminant is zero now from our summary if the discriminant is equal to zero then the roots are rational and equal therefore the roots of this given quadratic equation the roots are rational and equal Example number four. Before I'll continue, if you have some questions, please do write it in the comment section below this video. I will be happy to answer them. Example number four. We are asked to determine the nature of the roots. Now, from the given quadratic equation, this is not in the standard form. So, what we are going to do is we are going to distribute 2p to 6p and 2p to negative 8 so we will just multiply 2p and 6p at the same time multiply 2p and negative 8 and this 39 we will transpose that one to the left side to equate them to 0 in our standard form of course simplifying this one uh, we can have 12p squared minus 16p minus 35 is equal to 0 now Getting the values of our coefficient, we have a is 12, b is negative 16, and c is negative 35. I will stop my session until here because this is a do-it-yourself session. Write your correct answer in the comment section below this video and I'll give a heart for those who got correct answer. If you like our presentation about discriminant in determining the nature of the roots, please do like and please do share for others to watch also this video tutorial. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and please include that notification bell for you to be updated with my next tutorial session. Thank you.